how the narcissist hypnotizes you. When you first meet the narcissist, they produce a state of hypnosis within you. They capture your whole attention. They fascinate you. They attract the strong attention and interest of you. They deprive you of your ability to resist or escape by the power of their gaze. They look at you steadily and intently in admiration, surprise or thought. It's mesmerizing. It captures your complete attention. It sends you into a trance. But this is not caused by any real qualities, abilities or talents of the narcissist. It isn't real. It's all an illusion. They induce a misinterpreted perception of a sensory experience. They persuade or lead you to believe in their deceptive appearance or impression, a false idea or belief. They trick you into accepting and believing that what they are displaying to you is real or what they are saying to you is true. Narcissists have exceptional skills in this area. They are experts at hypnotizing their victims. They have exceptional skills in this area because this is something they have been practicing for a very long time. They have to practice manipulation because they have no real authentic qualities, abilities or talents of their own. Everything is manufactured or fabricated. It is invented in order to deceive. It is not real or genuine. They are unable to fulfill their needs in an honest way. So they have to resort to manipulation. And this is something that they've been practicing for a very long time. So naturally, they have developed exceptional skills in this area. Which means that they are going to be very good at hypnotizing you and getting you to believe in their deceptive appearance or, or impression. They create illusions, tricks that deceive the eye. They can generate their desired response from you by displaying an appearance or impression which is designed to deceive you. It is designed to deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain. It is designed to give you a mistaken impression to generate the desired response from you. This is how they lure you in. When you first meet them, they display an optimistic, confident person. Someone who appears to be hopeful and confident about the future. Someone who shows confidence in themselves and their own abilities or qualities. Someone who shows certainty in something. Someone who shows firm conviction that something is the case. And because they seem so confident, so certain, you begin to believe in them. You begin to believe in their deceptive appearance or impression. And they will play along as though they are working with you to achieve a mutually desired outcome or result until you begin to adopt their beliefs, their version of reality as your own.
the wrong or misinterpreted perception of a sensory experience, the deceptive appearance or impression makes you numb to your own intuition. It deprives you of feeling or responsiveness to your ability to understand something instinctively without the need for conscious reasoning. It creates a false idea or belief which you then begin to adopt as your own idea or belief. Once they have planted these false ideas or beliefs within you, they then begin to dissect you. They begin to psychoanalyze you, examine you methodically and in detail in order to study your internal parts, in order to explain and interpret it in an attempt to discover or reveal something through close examination. They conduct a detailed investigation and analysis of who you are, your likes and interests, your disadvantages or faults, without your awareness of this. Narcissists have exceptional skills in psychoanalysis. This is something that they have practiced for a very long time. It is an essential skill for their survival to obtain narcissistic supply. So naturally, they are very good at gathering information, collecting data, which can then be used to manipulate you and give them the fuel that they need. They are taking mental notes of everything you are saying and doing, not to get to know you, but to control and manipulate you. Knowing who you are, knowing your likes and interests, your disadvantages and faults, gives them the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. They are trying to determine your behavior and supervise your actions or movements to find flaws or defects, deficiencies, things that you are unable to resist or things that you like excessively. It gives them the ability to control and influence you. It gives them the ability to change your behavior or perception through the use of indirect, deceptive or underhanded tactics. Once they have gathered enough information about you, they begin to experiment. They begin to try new ideas or methods in an attempt to validate beliefs that are held with limited evidence. They secretly make use of their influence over you to gain an advantage over you and make full use of and derive benefit from you in a way that might be considered unfair or underhanded. Once they have done these experiments enough times, it improves their accuracy. It improves their quality or state of being correct or precise. So now they know what to do to affect you. Now they know what to do to bring you back in. They know how to impress you. They know how to make you mad. They have attached strings to you like a puppet. You are under their influence and control. And they can dial up any feeling or action they want through the use of deceptive or manipulative tactics. The narcissist targets their victims, usually based on some feeling of envy or jealousy and as a means of obtaining narcissistic supply. Their goal is to secure their source of narcissistic supply so that it can provide them with supply whenever they need it. But when they are done with it, 
and they have extracted all that they can get from it. Their goal is to destroy it. The narcissist does not want to see their source leave them in good physical or mental condition. They do not want to see their source leaving them with the physical strength, mental power, skill, time, money or opportunity to do anything. They do not want to see you being a benefit or advantage to someone else. That is why they want to ruin you once they are done with you. They don't want you to be good for anyone else other than them. They exploit you and extract as much as they can from you. But as they get more and more familiar with you, they begin to lose interest and they have used up everything that you had to offer. This is when they begin deconstructing you and reducing you to your constituent parts to reinterpret you. To explain the meaning of certain information or of your actions. To understand your action, mood or way of behaving. To decide what the intended meaning of something is. They want to completely break you apart so that when they are finally done with you, you are useless to anyone else. They have to destroy you. They are too envious and jealous to ever let you move on. They have too much anger and rage within them to let you move on as a confident, self-assured, happy person. When you do finally have the opportunity to leave, to leave they want you to be so twisted and confused, so forced out of your natural shape or condition, that you no longer even have the capabilities to move on from them. That is what they want to see. They want to keep you in a state of confusion and uncertainty, where you cannot think of anything other than them, where you cannot think of anything other than what they did to you. So even when you finally have the opportunity to, to leave, you are still anxious or fearful that something bad or unpleasant will happen. You are still thinking about everything that you went through in the past. That is what they want to happen. Because it will prevent or hinder progress in any future relationships that you try to develop. The narcissist knows how to produce a state of hypnosis within you. They know how to bring you through the process of hypnosis. It is done in a deliberate scheming and ruthlessly determined way. It is done intentionally. They have an awareness of what they are doing. You are their target. You are their objective or result towards which efforts are directed. And you have been their target even since before they had met you, before they even knew you, while they were in the process of targeting you. They brainwashed you. They pressurized you into adopting radically different beliefs by using systematic and forcible means. They made you believe something by repeatedly telling you that it is true and preventing any other information or influence from reaching you. They targeted your self-worth and self-esteem. They made you believe that your own beliefs were not credible. 
It created uncertainty regarding your own credibility and value. While the narcissist displayed a false, exaggerated sense of confidence and certainty. So naturally, you were more accepting of whatever they were dictating to you. And you were more doubtful and uncertain of your own beliefs, your own intuition. You lost your good sense and common judgment, which then led to you making bad decisions. You couldn't properly decide what was right for you to do in that moment. And these are the undesirable effects and consequences of dealing with a narcissist. They deprive you of your identity until you don't know who you are. You develop a state or condition where you are always doubting or questioning yourself. And then they come in and they dictate to you what is right and what is wrong. They dictate to you who you are and what you should be doing. This is how the narcissist hypnotizes you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.